If you think you're safe out there on the internet, in your on-prem data center, or even in the cloud, think again. Bad actors and hackers can attack from outside and have ways to even get inside your company. There's even nation states who would love nothing more than to get into your environment and steal all your data or use your computers as a mining or bot network. So what's an IT pro or security admin to do? Simple. Break out the premium firewall. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. The Azure Firewall is a cloud-based, fully stateful firewall as a service. It has built-in high availability and unrestricted cloud scale without the need of load balancers, failover, and complex management. And its one and only mission is to protect your virtual network and your resources. The service is fully integrated with Azure Monitor for logging and analytics so you can see what's going on at a glance. And when you put all of this together, this makes the Azure Firewall the ideal solution to protect your Azure investment. So in this session, we're gonna get you up to speed with Azure Firewall's new policies, focus in on the premium firewall features and how they can all help you, and we'll finish by walking through the migration process from standard to premium for maximum protection and manageability. Since the Azure Firewall is a cloud service, that means that it will scale to meet the needs of whatever you can throw at it. Now the premium firewall in particular has doubled the CPU processing power over standard, which is what's going to allow you to do some of the features that I'll talk about in a minute. And each instance of the premium firewall has more network throughput as well, so it can do more operations per second. Now as for those new features, some of these are required in your high security or even government regulated environments. So if you live in that world, you'll definitely want to check out the premium firewall. And those high level features are things like TLS inspection. This feature will decrypt the outbound traffic, process the data, and then encrypt the data and send it off to its destination. And this means that the premium firewall goes beyond those standard rule sets of source destination port and protocol to actually see what kind of data is inside that packet to know if it should be allowed or denied. For example, you could have someone who's trying to mine Bitcoin and sending that traffic over port 443. TLS inspection can detect that and deny the outgoing traffic. Next is URL filtering, and this feature is available in standard as well, but premium takes it to the next level. Standard can block domains and subdomains like msazureacademy.com or avd.msazureacademy.com but the premium URL filtering can block individual pages and applications. For example, google.com slash news. Finally, premium URL filtering even works down to HTTPS, where the traffic would have to be decrypted, read, and then re-encrypted. And there's a lot more that we could talk about here, but we're gonna lead now into the next feature of premium firewall, and that is web categories. These are what give you the option to allow or deny access to websites based on how those sites have categorized themselves, such as gambling, violence, social media, and a whole lot more. And the full list is linked in the video description below, so you can go check that out. And finally, the crown jewel of the premium firewall is intrusion, detection, and prevention, also known as IDPS. And so many of you have been asking for IDPS, and now it's here, so that you can monitor your networks for malicious activities, log it, report on it, and IDPS can also attempt to block it. Now we're gonna have some follow-up videos going deeper on each of these features, but for now, let's go set it up. Click the plus sign at the top to build a new resource and type in the word firewall. Once you select that at the top here, you'll wanna pick your subscription and resource group, give your firewall a name, and then select your region. Now the standard and premium firewall can both have up to 99.99% uptime if we use the feature here called availability zones. This is what's actually gonna provision the firewall across the different data center buildings in the region where you deploy it. So that way in case one of them happens to go down, your firewall still stays up. And there is no extra cost in doing this. So what I would suggest is that you select every availability zone that's possible, so that way your firewall is as highly available as it can be. Next, you have to choose your tier, standard or premium. And notice also that we have rules management options. Standard can use classic rules or firewall policies, but 
premium requires firewall policies. And the reason why is because, really, it's a better way to manage your environment. Policies are going to allow you to create rules outside of the firewall, which then means we can take that policy file and apply it to multiple firewalls. And that's going to simplify management and make everything you do more scalable. Now, for the rest of the build, we're going to need a virtual network. And you can either create a brand new one or use an existing one. And note, if you use an existing VNet, there must be a subnet that's already named Azure Firewall Subnet. And that must be at least the slash 26. Finally, we'll need a public IP address so that the firewall can do its magic. And if you don't have one, you can go ahead and provision one here. Now, if you don't have any Azure firewalls in your environment, go ahead and complete the build from here just by hitting next adding your tags and hitting review and create. For the rest of you who already have Azure Firewall standard, I wanna show you how to migrate from standard to premium so you can take advantage of all of these other benefits. Now this is the standard Azure Firewall using the classic rules set. Now the first step of migration starts with our rules. We need to convert from classic rules to firewall policies. And to do that, we've got a helpful bar right at the top. Just click that, and that's going to start a new deployment of a firewall policy resource. And all you need to do is just hit the deploy button at the bottom. In just a minute, your firewall will now be configured to use Azure Firewall Policies. Now, the Azure Firewall Policies will function just like the classic rules that you're used to, but the rules are stored now outside of the firewall, so we can apply them to any firewall that we have to manage. Now, if you just stopped right here, you're already in a better place than when we started, but we want to get the full benefit of the Azure Firewall and all those premium features, so let's keep on going. Next, we're going to need to run a PowerShell script that will create a premium version of our firewall policy so that we have access to all of those premium features. And the link for this is in the video description down below, and that's called Migrate to Premium Policy. So I'll just hit the copy button here and open that in VS Code, and we're gonna run that in just one second. First, let's take a look at the parameters block, and that tells us that we're gonna need the resource ID of our existing firewall policy so that we can generate a premium copy of that policy. So back in the Azure portal, here's our standard firewall, and you can see in the middle there, firewall policy. Go ahead and click on that, and then on the left, you wanna click Properties, and then copy the resource ID, and then go back to VS Code. Go ahead and run all that code, and then you can see in the terminal now, it's asking us for our policy ID. Just go ahead and paste yours in, and then hit Enter. And in just a minute, you'll have a new premium firewall policy resource. Now we're at the last step, and that is the actual migration of our firewall from standard over to premium. So the very first step here is delete the firewall. What, what's the matter? No, really, we're gonna delete the firewall, but it's okay, I promise. First of all, the important stuff is already in the firewall policy, not the firewall itself. That's half the benefit of using policies. And second, we're gonna back up our stuff first. It's gonna be fine, trust me. Back in your standard firewall, over on the left, you wanna look at the bottom and click on Export Template. This is all the infrastructure code that makes your firewall what it is. At the top, go ahead and click the Download button and then save that code somewhere safe because we're gonna need it in just a second. Now this export code process is something that you could use on any Azure resource so that you can not only back things up, but start to learn about the automation and infrastructure code side of things, which really unlocks the power of the cloud. And I've got an entire series on ARM code that you can go and check out back on the channel, as well as some bicep videos that are going to be coming soon. So be sure that you've clicked the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss that. Now that we've got our stuff downloaded, you'll want to extract those files and don't delete that zip file because that's our backup of the standard firewall in case we need it. Now you'll want to open that template.json file in VS Code and we only need to make two changes that'll convert this from standard to premium. First here is on line 37. In the tier, change the word from standard to premium. And the last one is near the bottom of the code and that's where it has the policy. We want to replace the resource ID from the standard one over to our new premium one. Now, if you ran the PowerShell script, just like I showed you earlier, the only thing you should have to add to the end of the line is underscore premium. But if you're not exactly sure that that's the right name, you can go check it out back in the portal. 
Back in the resource group where your firewall was deployed, you should see your firewall premium policy. Go ahead and click on that. And then on the left, go ahead to properties and then copy your resource ID. Back in VS Code, you should find your policy ID at the bottom. Go ahead and select everything that's between those double quotes and delete it. And now in between those double quotes, paste in the resource ID for your premium firewall policy. And it should look something like this. Once you're good with all of that, click save and then highlight and copy everything. And let's go back to the Azure portal. At the top, search for the word deploy again and go back to deploy a custom template. Now click over here to open the template editor, highlight all of the code that's here and delete it and then paste in your code. Click save at the bottom and you're ready to deploy. So in just a few minutes, you'll have a brand new premium firewall that is attached to your premium firewall policy. The upgrade is complete and everything should be looking good. So the Azure Firewall Premium Tier, don't use the cloud without it. And this is of course, just the beginning of your premium firewall journey. We're gonna explore some of the new features and dig in some of the use cases. And you can let me know anything that you're interested in by giving me a comment down below. And please share this with all of your friends on social media so that we can get this video up to 5,000 views as fast as possible. And I'll keep working on the content. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please do click that like button. That really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. So over here is my playlist on some of the other security features in the cloud. Go check that out and I will see you in the next episode. Happy learning.